We now return to the Captain America Adventure Program, in which our hero's defenseless sweetheart finds herself in the clutches of evil. Now that's the Peggy Carter I need. When Howard came to me, I was damn happy to see him. I'd been wallowing in it since the war, wondering why no one would give Agent Peggy Carter a shot. So I grabbed the chance. You are a credit to your profession. Run, Peggy, run! If the men in your office can't see that, then they're fools. Not bad. What a girl. I hate you all. Foster! You know how busy the office keeps me. Peg, you work at the phone company. It ain't life and death. You have no idea. Do you have another one of those? Someone's getting very confident. I didn't know our government had such good taste in secretaries. What's your name, darling? Agent. Carter, take off from the way. They shouldn't be seeing this. I knew you didn't work at the phone company. You think you know me, but I've never been more than what each of you has created. May I? Can I be of any further assistance? You're a woman. No man will ever consider you an equal. Poor guy. I already got his personality shot off in Iwo Jima. These men you call your colleagues, they don't respect you. They don't even see you. Do you honestly expect they'll change their minds? I expect I will make them. I thought you'd be better. Once again, the powers of freedom and democracy prevail. I'm so lucky to have a man as brave and strong as Captain America. Who writes this rubbish? I rather enjoy it, actually. Although the, the real thing is considerably more impressive. 